Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello. Welcome to the PyTorch tutorial series. Today we'll talk about a real application of a simple RNN model. In the previous video we saw that RNN can also learn spatial features from images just like CNN it's just they learn those features in time so it's temporal feature learning but learning features from images is not the real application of RNNs recurrent neural networks are used to learn text usually or financial data or time series data things that change over time things that the model needs to remember and forget over time those are the real applications today i have taken an example from the official website of pytorch this is a very good example so you can download the dataset from the website of pytorch it's the dataset that contains surnames of different countries so i have uploaded the data.zip in google collab and when i unzip it you can see it has names and inside the names folder there are many nationality text files of different nationality if we open any one of them say this is arabic so it has all the surnames for those who are from arabic nationality we have german like abing abu abt etc and we have v vietnamese spanish scottish russian portuguese etc so we will build a model today using rnn that can learn at character level the surnames of different nationality so that when we predict an unknown surname it can give us a correct result so it's character level text learning and to implement that we shall first do some preparation of our dataset since it has some surnames of different countries we are bound to have some peculiar letters for instance this one you can see there is a surname that looks like s and it's an a with a stroke on it but how do we represent this in english to do that we have to do some data preparation so first thing we do is we find all the files that are named dot txt so first we read all the files japanese.txt czech.txt chinese.txt then we import unicode data string and we include all the letters that are in the ascii letters and we also include these characters and if we print the total number of letters we will see that we have a total of 57 characters so we will build a model that will learn all the 57 characters and it will correspond to those surnames that are built up of all these 57 characters this is a small function it's called unicode to ascii so basically you give it an unicode data for instance this one which is which you will most probably pronounce as Slusarsky, but 
in the actual nationality most probably it is pronounced differently but that doesn't matter we'll convert everything in English so that our model can learn the letters that are in the ASCII so first thing we do is we create a dictionary of all the characters if we do category lines we'll see that our model has learned all the surnames from the text file so Vietnamese has these files these uh, surnames then let's say Spanish has these surnames etc and that's how our model will be built on this data and we have all categories which is basically comprised of all the 17 nationality that we have and these read lines just read the file and convert everything inside it into ASCII since these are many of those surnames are in Unicode that are not there in English ASCII so we have to convert all of them and finally we read all the categories that we have so if we do so category lines is done if we check in underscore categories we'll see we have 18 categories so let's print one category let's say we want to see the first five surnames in Scottish so it says Smith Brown Wilson Campbell Stewart etc so let's not waste more time and try to implement this in PyTorch first thing we have to do is we have to find all the letters in the surname so we'll convert all the letters to index we'll create a function that converts all the lines or all the surnames to a tensor we'll convert all the letters to tensor because pytorch only learns tensor so if we convert letter j we get something like this and when we do line to tensor Jones will we have a, a big tensor of 5 1 and 57 the 57 is because we have total of 57 characters so we can change it to something like Jones maybe If we have something like that yep everything is converted to this format so inside the RNN module we have the constructor we have the hidden size and the two levels of RNN and finally in the categorization level we are defining log softmax it's another uh, classification activation function and finally we are declaring our forward pass and init hidden basically initializes everything into initializes the first hidden layer into with zeros and if we do later to tensor and we pass it to our RNN model we get an output that looks something like this after log softmax you can see the number has changed which means our model works we can also convert any name in fact to 
our desired let's say we want to check Adam so what we will do is we will see what output it gives so you can see it after converting Adam it looks like this in the next video we will run our model and create some interesting results out of the surname dataset. Thank you.